Right guys, day five of our Will House photo shoot here in Ibiza. We're back down at the Experience Spa of Esvive, and today I'm sitting with Carlos Sosa, AKA House Gangster, DJ Sneak, how are you? Good man, how you doing? Man? Yeah, really cool bro, really cool. How was that shoot, did you enjoy that? I did man, I did. I, I think we got some good ones today. Pretty cool. I like the whole big cigar gangster. I, I love the Soprano, man. Yeah, <laughs> Tony Soprano in the house, you know. Nice, and you played last night at Ushuaia? I did. Uh, after uh, between eight and ten, Luciano played after. It was really brilliant. Yeah. Went in a bender already, you know, <laughs> beast <of> style. <laughs> Just landed right in it, you know. Just cool. So where does sneak party when he comes up? Everywhere, man. I mean, uh, I've been coming here since 1996. When things were free and open air, you know, and uh, yeah. and I've carried around all these years, so um, I have different spots, you know. I mean, I'm I'm not into the more trendy ones. Yeah, yeah. Just sort of find little things that I like. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's why I want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know some spots, man. I'll let you know <laughs> off the camera. Yeah. Because then everybody will know. That, that, right. We'll keep yeah. the secret. Definitely. Yeah. Good stuff. Now, Sneaky, you've been in the business for one hell of a long time, man. 22 odd years. Yeah. Uh, how's it going now? It's great, man. Um, some people talk about getting. A second wind. Yeah. I think I'm on my fourth now. <laughs> um, I've this made many changes. It, you know, it's happened in music and the industry, technology, everything. You know, together. And I've sort of been able to just uh, adapt and adjust to what's going on, and still carry my message the way I want. Uh, musically, I've never changed. I mean, I've changed with times, but. I've never sold out to a point where I've had to jeopardize what I'd love to do, right? Yeah. So, uh, I, um, through these times, you know, I can tell you, kids are, still look up to me because I st stood my ground in times when even people were saying my music was out of style, yeah. you know? And I was like, it's not out of style, you just don't know it. So, the last five years, I've been able to reintroduce myself to a whole new generation um, and still, still give love to the people who know me for old school sneak you know what i'm saying but old school sneak is new sneak right now yeah, it's yeah. the same you know even with the music i've i've gone because i i jump from styles too you know i could go from deep house to tech house or techno you know and um some kids know me for either one or it's fun when they find out what a, what the whole package is all about right and and i've been just consistent you know, just doing what I love to do and still give it that that love and mostly passion, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm a passion guy. <laughs> and that's the cool thing. I mean, we can all see that things have changed a lot in the music scene, especially in the electronic scene. And you have stuck to your guns and, and done what you do, no matter what it meant industry-wise or profile-wise, you've always stuck to what you're doing. Um, is there a bit more to that? Because obviously, there's. we were talking a little bit earlier. We won't go into it massively, but just a little touch on it. You know, about some of the other big names that are out there at the moment, maybe not doing true to the music that you feel? Well, I mean, it's, it's hard to, you know, I've been outspoken about what's going on today with this whole fashion DJs or, you know, mafias and this and that. And even though I'm calling myself a house gangster, that, that's actually passion for house music, for real house music, right? I think um, a big, Part of what's going on with that sort of side of the industry is that they have no history, man. You know, I I was DJing with Dex. I was DJing when vinyl was ruled. You know, I, I have, I, I'm 41. I started DJing when I was 16. Yeah, and like I've given love all that time. So if you just grew up, you know, if you're 17, 18, you don't know who I am today, right? So this is what part of where I introducing myself. These these so-called pop DJs, they, they have no history. And really, I don't think they really care if, if they don't represent the culture that has been nurtured by me and others, yeah. right? So this is why I'm outspoken today and I'll speak against Steve Angelo or anybody else, yeah. you know, because they're in the right place at the right time, but they, they're giving out the wrong message. It's not about being famous. It's not about, you know, drugs and women and all that. You know what I mean? I'm a family man. I have two kids, one on the way. You know, when I'm not DJ Sneak, I'm Carlos Sosa, right? And these cats are stuck on the persona they create. And then they believe that to the point where they think, well, I'm freaking Mick Jagger. But really, 
Mick Jagger at least knows how to play instruments and sing and perform live. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not doing either one of any of them. You know, they're just like pre programmed, pre recorded. Sort of like stick a microwave. <laughs> microwave dinner, you put it in there. You, yeah, exactly. You know, that's what it is, man. So, uh, you know, for me, uh, uh, keeping it real means keeping that passion and, and educating, man, because I was turned out when I was 15, 16 years old by DJs from Chicago that were on the radio. And um, I wish, well, I know today that I'm that sort of DJ that a kid can look up to, or even if they picked up old vinyl or the older brother's cousin say, yeah, when I used to go out, when I was your age, this guy here was one of the top ones, and he's still here, so better go and catch him, you know? And they learn something. Yeah, it's, yeah. not just the, it's not just the clubbers or the listeners that are looking up to you and have respect for you, the people in the industry as well exactly. have asked for you. Exactly, I mean, I, I, I've sort of, you know, I kept it real to that point, you know? I am successful, and I am sort of whatever people call, oh yeah, he's international, this, that. But if you want to have five minutes, even off the camera, I'll give it to you. We'll have a chat. We'll say, you know, you say what you got to say. I'll say, oh, well, cool, man, carry on. If you need any help, if you got music, here's where you can send it to me. Like, I'm not I'm not a superstar in my eyes. I'm just a, somebody who loves this, you know? So, yeah. And I try to, that's the message I give to the kids, man. Like, don't go heavy into drugs. Don't do the things that you think are going to make you a successful DJ. Like, work for it, you know. Learn what it is that m made you want to be a DJ, you know, and then just study it, man. Everything is there now. Things like YouTube, I mean, if you want to learn anything, just type it on YouTube and it's there, <laughs> right? So, a combination of that, and but mostly, like, you know, even live, man. You know, I go and play the shower last night and, like, I just straight walked into the crowd, yeah. you know, and the kids are like hugging me in pictures and this, and I love that. Yeah. Not for my ego, but for the fact that. I'm just like them, and I'm saying, yo, I'm just like you. I'm just up here playing, but I'm gonna come down and hang with y'all, yeah. and chill, and give you those minutes you want. You know, it's not that hard. No, if you're nice, you're gonna be nice all across. You know, and um, respect is earned, and and I, I give it out, and I get it back. Yeah. I like it. I love that. The respect is earned. We've uh, gotten some time some really cool DJs this week as well. You know, yourself included. Um, you know, Phil from Orbital, Steve Lawler. Uh, we spent a lot of time with Carl Cox working with him as well. And man, just the nicest people in the world. Real down to earth. Yeah, that's and what I mean, the, the real ones know how to carry themselves. You know what I mean? Yeah. Steve is, uh, is a prime example of a, of a purist and somebody who loves what he does. Yeah. Carl, obviously, you know, he's way up in the success and the fame thing. but. Man, one on one, the guy's an excellent, cool person, man. You know? Yeah. It's neat. Tell us the T-shirt you're wearing, man. House Gangster. Tell me about it, man. That's that's more than just a title. Okay. Well, House Gangster is. Um, it became a campaign for house music. That's a slogan that sort of I created after watching American Gangster the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The logo is almost the same as the American Gangster. I just switched letters around to make it my message and. Um, a few, yeah, five years ago, I was not into this blogging thing, but I actually wrote a blog about Keep House Music Alive, and I was talking about the status of, of the music industry, even for a person like me, you know? And I just spoke out loudly. That was, I think, the first time that I just said, okay, I've had enough, and I have to speak out. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pushed out, you know? And uh, I just made a slogan that represented my passion and my music. And it's not DJ Sneak, it's I'm a house cancer. You could be a house cancer, you know what I'm saying? Anybody could jump on a house cancer tip. And that just means that you love and respect this music and you want the best for it, you know? I'm an underground kid, man, you know? And like, I'm all about that, you know? I'm, if I cross over, I cross over, but it's not gonna be because I'm pushing towards that, you know? To, to be a house cancer is to be passionate about the, the music you love. And for me, that is house music. And tell me, so um, you've been to Ibiza yeah. loads and loads of times. Yeah. It's coming out since 1996, is it? Was your first? So we want to know what's what's going to be your favorite thing about Ibiza. I guess you know this year, after so many years of um, of pushing, I'm telling you, man, I've stood my ground. Yeah. This year is Ibiza's 
becoming sort of that, it's getting that vibe of what it used to be for me in the 90s, which was good house music was back. Yeah, and now I think even in the biggest massive clubs with the DJs like Luciano and Ricardo and everything, they'll play house music that I know and they're playing it the right way. And they're not just playing trendy pop hits, you know what I mean? So I think the island, even though that's part of here as well, um, most of the DJs are getting that vibe of going back to house music. And this is what I've been waiting for, you know, all this all these years. And fighting for it, you know what I'm saying? But finally that it's here, I feel lucky and excited to go out now and actually enjoy myself. Instead of being in a club and be like, this music sucks, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? And that happens a lot. Yeah, big time. Cool. And uh, so, obviously, having come out to Ibiza, you were talking earlier about some of the gigs that you've had. You know, you played for Cream years and years ago. You played with We Love. You played Man, Your Mission as well, which, yeah. I, man, I wish I could have been there. I, got, I actually have a video of the sex show. I was playing one night with Sonique, actually. Yeah. And uh, digital cameras are just popping up, and I had one, and I caught one of the last shows on stage straight from the DJ box and everything and that was those were crazy times man. those were really crazy times but not, you know in saying that um, there are great nights this year um, I'm playing Blue Marlin I'm playing Sankey's I'm playing DC 10 which is really the, the party that I look forward the most I have a huge audience Italian audience right now and they all go there but the vibe in general is what I love. It's a combination, all new. You have DJs like Kerry Chandler and myself from the old school representing, and then you have Young from England, from Italy, from everywhere, you know? So DC 10 is really the, the party that I look forward the most, you know? I'm, I'm playing um, Coxie's closing party to a space. So sort of giving a bit of love for everybody, you know? It's the way it used to be for me, and this exclusive thing never really made sense to me, you know what I mean? You're out here to party. Um, what I used to look forward the most was going to Mambo's and playing for free or places like that where people can actually, you know, it's not a big mega club. It's like a bar, have a few drinks, have a photo. That's cool, man, you know? So this year, uh, yeah, between Sankey's, DC 10, um, I got a bunch of gigs. You know, uh, um, five, six years ago, I was coming here for, for one week and sometimes for one gig. Yeah, this year I have over a dozen. Fantastic. Yeah, so I mean, that that just shows the improvement and the selection and the, the, what people want to hear and and having somebody like me with all this experience actually still come and throw down, you know? Uh, Luciano last night was behind me the whole time and he's younger than me and I know he appreciates, that's what he invites me to his, to his events. But besides that, he's like watching and learning, man. I mean, and I don't mind sharing that, you know? That's somebody who really wants to be on that level as well. Well, they love the music, they love the party. They have the fame, but they don't really care, man. It's about the music at the end of the day. You can always stay up with as well. Yeah, man, for real. He's real. Yeah, and like, you know, Ricardo Villalobos as well. We, a few years back, we played a cocoon together. We played tag team back to back. And to have that combination of like German house minimal with Chicago house and Detroit flavor in it was was brilliant. Still one of the best gigs in the past four or five years that I played here. Mm. Well, listen, Sneak, one last question, mate. You're on Lucky Life TV. Yeah. We believe in luck in another way. So, what's the luckiest thing that's ever happened to you, mate? Oh, wow. This is gonna sound corny. Meeting my wife. She is, she is my rock. We have one 15-month-old baby girl, and we have another one on the way. And she is house gangster like me. We do everything together. We've been able to. It's finding that one partner and in, in life, not just in my industry and in a business, but in life, man. That so, I was really lucky to after. Being DJ and meeting girls and going and having all that fun to find the one person that I knew was gonna be with me forever. Awesome. So that's musically, I don't think I was lucky. Maybe when I was lucky to land in Chicago in 1983 and learn Rio Chicago House. I'm originally from Puerto Rico. I was born and raised in the Caribbean. So I guess those two things: landing in Chicago 
later meeting my wife in Canada, and here I am today. Yeah, cheers, man. Excited, Excellent. Cool. All, right, All right, guys. Well, that's us here down at the Woolhouse photo shoots here in Ibiza at Svivo Hotel. You're on Lucky Love TV, DJ Sneak. Thanks, bro. All right, buddy.